Today we are talking about where Palantir stock will be over the next five years, and we will discuss one major warning sign that investors should be aware of. With that being said, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and now let's dive right into the video. The generative artificial intelligence surge ignited by OpenAI's release of ChatGPT in 2022 has rejuvenated companies like Palantir Technologies. However, with Palantir's stock rising 73% over the past 12 months, there is speculation about whether all potential growth is already accounted for. To better understand what lies ahead for this software company, we must delve into its prospects for the next five years. Founded in 2003 and becoming a public company in 2020, Palantir Technologies is regarded as an early player in the artificial intelligence field, leading the way with innovations in machine learning and big data analytics. The company employs a software-as-a-service model, charging clients a recurring fee to access its two main platforms. Palantir's involvement in defense contracting is a cornerstone of its competitive advantage. Unlike typical software companies, Palantir has a well-established history of participating in classified and sensitive operations, including the notable Osama bin Laden raid in 2011. More recently, Palantir has provided support to the Ukrainian armed forces in their conflict with Russia. Additionally, in January, Palantir secured a contract with Israel to offer services for war-related missions. Although Palantir's integration of advanced technology into conflict zones bolsters its economic moat, it also poses potential risks to the company's reputation. This could hinder its appeal to private sector clients who are crucial for revenue diversification and growth. Despite this, the company has not yet encountered significant issues. In the first quarter, commercial revenue surged 27% year-over-year to $299 million, while government revenue increased 16% to $335 million. Palantir's long-term success will hinge on its ability to incorporate large language models and other generative artificial intelligence technologies into its existing data analytics solutions. However, the commercial aspect of this opportunity appears highly competitive. Competitors such as Snowflake and Microsoft Fabric offer similar data analytics software without Palantir's political complications. These rivals also benefit from an in-house cloud computing infrastructure, whereas Palantir's Foundry platform depends on external cloud service providers like Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, and Microsoft Azure. The positive news is that Palantir's government business seems poised for substantial growth in the coming years. The global geopolitical climate remains tense, with hotspots in Europe, Africa, the Middle East, and Asia. Concurrently, labor shortages and emerging technologies such as drones are driving the need for the type of automation Palantir's software provides. Beyond its collaborations with United States allies, Palantir has secured significant contracts with the United States Department of Defense. Notably, the company recently won a $480 million contract with the United States Army to work on the Maven Smart System, which leverages artificial intelligence and computer vision to swiftly and accurately identify enemy targets. Alphabet withdrew from this endeavor in 2018 following widespread employee protests over ethical concerns, but Palantir's unreserved engagement in defense work makes it less susceptible to such pressures. In the next five years, investors can anticipate that defense contracting will become an increasingly vital component of Palantir's business. Palantir is strategically positioned to capitalize on advancements in artificial intelligence technology and its expanding military applications. However, a strong company does not necessarily translate to an excellent stock. Here's a cautionary note for investors. In Palantir's case, valuation is a significant concern. With a forward price-to-earnings ratio of 70, Palantir's shares are substantially more costly than the Nasdaq average of 32. Despite Palantir's robust competitive edge, this is an excessively high price for a company that only achieved a 21% revenue increase in the first quarter. Such overvaluation could lead to the stock underperforming in the broader market over the next five years. But even with that being said, some believe that Palantir Palantir stock could reach over $50 per share over the next five years. In the end, Palantir Technologies has experienced a significant boost from the generative artificial intelligence wave, exemplified by OpenAI's ChatGPT. The company's future growth hinges on integrating advanced AI technologies into its platforms, though it faces stiff competition from firms like Snowflake and Microsoft. Palantir's defense contracts, particularly with the United States Department of Defense, remain a strong revenue stream amidst a volatile geopolitical landscape. However, my warning to investors would be that Palantir has a high forward price-to-earnings ratio and poses a risk of underperformance in the broader market. With that being said, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.